Are you someone that's tired of trick-or-treating and getting jumped for no reason at all and farming hours only to get one accessory? This year, Royal High has given us a brand new way to get candy that is very entertaining and efficient. Before we begin, if you want to have a chance in winning the new Halloween Halo, you should definitely check out my Halo Answers video, link is in the description. Now, I will show you guys how to get the candy quickly at the Haunted Mansion. Now, to get to Blackwood Manor or the name of this mansion, you have to follow this road that you would normally take when you are trick-or-treating. Like they do in every horror movie, you have to go inside the haunted mansion. There's no other choice. So we're gonna go inside Blackwood Manor. It will teleport you to Blackwood Manor. Now that we're here, it's not what I expected. I expected something much more, but there's like a bunch of laser guns that you can pick up and use to defeat the ghosts that are living here. And also there are headlamps and night vision goggles that are free to use and you can refill your ammo once you run out. Now Archie will explain what you need to do in order to get the candies. Well ahoy there! How is the ghost hunting faring? Can you explain it again please? even though you didn't explain it the first time. So they say it's very simple. Grab a blaster from the load up area, then go through the doors behind me to find the ghosts. Blast energy from the gun at the ghosts until their health is depleted. After this, you can trap them. Once trapped, you vacuum them into your gun by standing close to them. You have until the timer runs out to capture them. As you capture them, your vacuum storage will decrease. Once your vacuum is full, you can empty it in the ghost return. There, you can see how much ammo you have. If you run out, you can get new ammo capsules at the ammo refill station. You can also borrow some of my night fishing goggles and headlamps. I highly suggest bringing some companions for this. The stronger ghosts will require more people to bring them down. And Archie does make a good point here. So in order to get the most candies very quickly and efficiently, I recommend going into public servers or creating a friend group and, you know, raiding the ghosts together because the more players, the easier it will be to take down their health. If like a bunch of people are vacuuming the ghosts at the same time, you can vacuum them more quickly. Basically, you can get candies for capturing them and if you shoot them, they kind of add on to that candy amount. So make sure you do shoot the ghost and actually participate and not just leeching off of everyone's kill. So once you are finished with your ammo or you are done vacuuming the ghosts and your vacuum is full, you can go back to the main area and you can put your small little ghost friends in there to live for all of eternity, stuck in that tube forever. At first, I wasn't really sure if the ghosts could damage you, but after a bit of experimenting by running into the ghosts purposefully, I realized that these ghosts are very innocent. And according to my research, these ghosts are proven to be very docile. They don't attack you even when you attack them. And they're kind of just not the brightest as they're roaming the halls very aimlessly, just walking around the place with no purpose. And what makes me pity these creatures even more is when you shoot them, they express some kind of human emotion. Why are we doing this? 
The ghosts are nice and friendly, but we are infiltrating their home and converting them into candies for our personal use. Now, as you can see, this is no easy task. Running back and forth can cause nausea and fatigue. It is up to professional ghost hunters such as I to see through the skill these ghosts have passed down through their generations. And because they've adapted to such harsh environments of being hunted, it is crucial that they master the art of no clipping. It is without a doubt, these ghosts are hacking. And there are new hairstyles they added in. So a bunch of these have their own kind of small accessory to go with it. And I really like how they're doing this because it's technically a free accessory that goes in your hair. This is really cute. There's also new colors to go with the Halloween theme because they always have new colors for the different holiday seasons. I definitely do recommend using these hairstyles if you're making a Halloween outfit because it does serve those vibes. So yeah, they're super cute. So all those ghosts that we captured, their sacrifices were not in vain, guys, because now we can use those candies to buy some cute accessories from the candy shop. With this update, there are four new accessories. So we're gonna try on some of these items here. There's a bouquet of flowers that are wilted. And there's also this very beautiful mask. I love the mask. It's honestly my favorite accessory out of the four new ones. And there's this little hat with some feathers. Last, we got safety pin earrings. So that is it for this update. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And let me know in the comments what you're gonna be for Halloween this year. If you wanna check out my fountain answer video for the Halloween Halo 2021, link is in the description. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!